So if you're a seller, you have to understand that things have gotten really price sensitive. Mm -hmm. So testing the market, seeing if you can get more money for your home or thinking that prices are still holding where they were six months ago, you know, back even between June and May of this year, it's shifted, not greatly, but it has. Yeah. And what, what you got to understand is because people's interest rates have gone up, their affordability factor, which is real estate talk for how much house you can afford, mm -hmm. has gone down. So when interest rates were low, people were getting loans to be able to buy 900,000. Now that same guy's only qualifying for 750. Right, right. Okay, so things have gotten a lot more price sensitive and there are less homes on the market. So if your home comes on the market and it is priced accurately, it's still selling fast mm -hmm. and it's still getting multiple offers. But if your home is, is not priced properly, either you didn't listen to your agent or your agent didn't know how to price the property right, and that happens all the time, or even three, option three, which is the worst, your agent will tell you your house is worth more than it is, just so that the, you'll sign the listing agreement then when nobody comes through the door, they start beating you up for price reductions. That is the number one way as a seller, you leave money on the table. Yep. Overpricing your home and then chasing the market down.